Jeff Kindler unexpectedly stepping down as Pfizer's CEO. 32-year veteran Ian Reid is going to be replacing him as head of the company. But for more on this story, we are joined right now by Bloomberg Pharmaceutical reporter Shannon Pettypiece. Shannon, thanks so much for joining us. So four and a half years on the job, Kindler was, and he says that he's just worn out. What are the right. chances that he's tired and what are the chances that he was pushed out? Right. Well, I mean, he's been through a big acquisition in healthcare reform. He's the lead negotiator there. So possibly maybe he is tired. But at the same time, I think what's more likely is the board probably said, your time here is done. He came in in 2006, did extreme cost cuttings to prepare the company for the loss of Lipitor, their Which top seller. Which he's got a little bit of credit for recently, right, as far as the stock market right. goes. He, yeah, to get ready for this, the loss of Lipitor, their top seller. He did the big acquisition for Wyeth. He's been through a year of integration. And now maybe the board's saying, time to move on to someone else. And They've brought in Ian Reid, who's a real pharmaceutical veteran. He's been at Pfizer for 32 years, knows the company inside and out, very well known. He should be able to sort of jump in there without much of a transition period and sort of take over the reins here. But yeah, I think that maybe the board was basically saying, time to move on. We've, you know, we've had enough of you and let's Hard try someone else. not to talk about the stock price, right? It's been down 35% right. since Kindler was in charge and even, even more before that. He was supposed to turn it he around. Was, yeah, he was brought on to be the stock turnaround guy, the CEO before him, Hank McKinnell, they were not happy with his performance. The stock was down about 50% under him. So, Braun and Kindler, and I see.